Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Vanilla Survival Let's Play series in 1.16.3 is the current version we are running with. And I have done a little bit of work off camera here. As you can see, I've moved some chests over and I have actually started filling in the barrels with like stuff. Um, but I still need a lot of leather to actually map out where things are. So I actually remember or don't have to remember where things are. Um, but this chest right here is our valuables chest right there, which I moved over. So this can be a proper output chest right there. Now, we're going to be doing two things today. One, we will be visiting the nether at least to see where we are. And second, we're going to be doing a bunch of enchanting. Now, I don't have that many diamonds. As you can see, I have not uh, had the chance to do some mining recently. Been uh, putting all the effort into Ramblecraft. Which, by the way, you should go and uh, check out. It's cool. It's cool series. But anyways, uh, I want to basically make a brand new set of iron armor. I want to make a diamond sword. Enchant the diamond sword with a level 30 enchantment. And then just enchant the iron, iron stuff with, um, with, well, some basic enchantments. Not high level or anything. But uh, just to get some enchantments done and just to make it so that we are a little bit more protected. Um as well so i think that should be good and uh, we have a free iron pickaxe i think i have an extra yep i have a brand new one we'll enchant that as well we can enchant the iron axe and yeah we're gonna put the diamond pickaxe in there because if i die in the end not the end <laughs> if i die in the nether uh i'll be a sad boy uh so enchant those enchant that and enchant the armor all right i think we should be good but just before we head on over to enchant a word from our sponsor humble servers do you want a Minecraft server for you and your friends, but can't afford the normal prices at other hosters? Humble Servers got you covered with servers starting all the way at $0.75 in their budget lineup. Go ahead and get your own server now down below in the description and use code BINARYV at checkout to save 25% off of your first purchase. And by using the link down below in the description, you support me and the channel. Alright, so with that all done and said, oh yeah. That's all the bamboo. Uh, some, I think, at least one or more pointed out that there is a little bit of... There's a little bit bamboo there. That too much. <laughs> um, and I might have to agree with that. Maybe I did overdo the bamboo. But uh, actually, Spice Mines put in the comments in the last episode that if I want a variety of green, I can always add some sugarcane, which is actually a great idea. So I'll have to do that probably off camera. Um, but yeah. Uh, maybe there's a little bit of too much bamboo, but hey, it adds green, and I like it. It adds it adds color. It adds nature stuff. <laughs> Anyways, let's head on over to enchant some things. All right, heading down into our enchantment cave here. All right, so actually our uh, sword here is actually able to get looting. Though I don't know if I want looting. I think I want either unbreaking or sharpness, because I have the risk of getting a looting three book. And then getting Bane of Arthropods, for, for example, and that wouldn't be particularly something I want. So I think I'm gonna enchant, well, I can enchant one thing at least. Efficiency 4, <laughs> well, we're not giving it a level 30 enchantment. Efficiency 2, that sounds good to me. Yep, efficiency 2, that's not too bad. And now what does the sword have? Not back 2. You know what, we're just gonna risk it. Risk it for the biscuits. If, worst case scenario, we can always make a grindstone and I can redo it later. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's hope for something good. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Is it just me or are enchantments you get for level 30 a lot worse in 1.16? I feel like it is. Because on, again, the Ramblecraft series, I've had a lot of trouble with these enchantments where I'd like get one or bad ones, like low level ones, I, it, it's annoying. Anyways, let's just give these some uh, random enchantments as well. Then we have the armor. Uh, wow, unbreaking three. I'll take it. Doesn't add any extra protection, but uh, I'll take it, I guess. Sure, protection one, protection one, and unbreaking two, huh? Sure. Unbreaking two. <laughs> Definitely not the best enchantments I could have gotten, but hey, it's enchantments and like I said, it's I didn't go for anything high I just went for something that uh, could, could make things a little bit better. So 
I'm a bit disappointed at the diamond sword though. But we got the enchantments done. It is definitely an improvement. Uh, either ways, and also for the iron pickaxe actually. Uh, I don't know if I want to use uh, iron, the diamond sword because I don't have mending and it does not have unbreaking on it. So I think I might cast that aside and just uh, go ahead and enchant the iron sword actually. And I'll have to redo the, the diamond one and just put this stuff away. Yeah, we will need to do some uh, little bit of maybe villager stuff at one point to maybe get a mending book. That would be pretty cool. Alright, what can we... Knock back, knock back, and knock back, huh? Wow. Okay, that's... That's... Okay. Uh, hmm, which one do we go for? Just the first one. Sure, Bane of Arth... Sure, Bane of Arth Arthropods. Why not? Maybe I should have gone with the knock back because sometimes that is actually really helpful when dealing with creepers. Oh well. Done. It, it's been done. Uh, sun is going down. Go down quicker, please. I need to sleep. Speaking of sleep, I'm extremely tired while recording this. <laughs> so I hope everything is alright. Um, but anyways, we are gonna go through the portal now. I think I have everything I want. Uh, probably don't need the shears with me. Um, so I think I'm gonna put those away. But I am gonna grab the flint and steel just in case we get trapped. I have arrows, but I don't have a bow on me. Um, sure, maybe it will come in handy. Yeah, I think, I think that's good. Is that the pig that escaped last episode? Hmm, not on my watch, buddy. Get back in there. Yeet. Ow. Hey, buddy, did you think you could escape? Yeah, you want the carrots, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Where did he even go? I'm confused. Like, there were a pig that, like, escaped. Oh, no. Get through quickly. There we go. Here, have a carrot. There you go. Make another pig. <laughs> but yeah, there was one pig that all of a sudden disappeared. I guess that has been that guy, but where was he? I'm confused. Anyways, with all that done... Ow. We gotta head through... The nether. Actually, uh, I don't have any, like, gold armor. I need that. Otherwise, I'm gonna get beaten up pretty bad by the piglins. Um, I guess the helmet. Since it only has unbreaking, it doesn't add any further protection anyway. I guess I might make the helmet. Yeah, sure. I'll make, I'll make a golden helmet, because why not? Put the iron one in there. And let's go to the nether. Alright, it's the first time I'm gonna step through this. Let's be prepared. Shield, iron sword, we have the golden stuff on. Oh dear. <laughs> ah, okay. Let's hope we get to a good spot. In we go. We go into a different dimension. Ooh. Oh dear. Hmm. Okay, so we're at a crimson forest. Also at the edge of a soul sand valley. Huh. That's interesting. Are there any fortresses nearby? You know, if there's a fortress nearby, that would be pretty epic. But this looks pretty cool. I think I like this spot. I think I'm just gonna make a little floor here around this portal because there's straight lava down there. And if I do an oopsie, that <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna be a good time. So I think I'm just gonna add this floor in right here. There we go. Oh no, that's the Huckling. I don't want to deal with those guys. Uh, do we have a fortress nearby? I don't see one. Yeah, get rid of the Huckling, please. Now, which way do I go? First things first, don't fall. Secondly, take a screenshot of the coordinates so you can always find your way back. And, uh... That's... That Hawkland is just standing there, taking all the shots. Um, hmm. Did he just... Ah. It looked like he gave up on that. You know, I want to see how this ends. Ah. Well, then. <laughs> okay. Good job, buddy. Oh, sorry. I took I took your stuff. <laughs> uh, should we get a strider? We could get a strider so we could travel... On the lava to potentially find more stuff. Uh, let me take a look at the advancements, actually. Uh, nether. What are the advancements? 
Enter a Bastion Remnant, return to Sender, a Terrible Fortress, distract Piglins with Gold, Ride a Strider, and explore all the other biomes. I've already explored three out of five. I'm missing another waste, which are over here, I believe. And then if we can find a warped forest, then we can get that advancement out of the way already. So that would be pretty cool. Also, I can actually get another one if I can get some gold without anyone looking. I can distract some piglins uh, with it. What's that? Okay, that's just soul sand. All right, so we are actually currently in another waste, so that should actually count as another one. Uh, no? Maybe it didn't count me going into the soul sand valley. That's interesting. Well, I'm just gonna have a little bit of a look around to see maybe if we can find one of the other biomes. And yeah, I'm probably gonna want like one of each kind of uh, like sapling, I guess, to grow back home. That's the thing though, I really wish they would have added the ability to get the fungus from the actual trees. That would have been pretty cool. Unfortunately, they never added that, so I'm sad about that. I don't want to wander too far away from my home either. I want to stay fairly close. Uh, but I'm just looking if there should be a fortress nearby. That would be pretty cool. Or a bastion remnant. Or a ruined portal. All of those would be pretty cool to find. I also gotta be careful not to step somewhere wrong and uh, fall to my doom. That would be pretty bad. Hmm. A lot of stuff here. I'm using a strategy where I'm looking at like the corner up here. Because some of the fog actually gets removed when you look uh, with that. So I'm kind of using that to see a little bit further to see if there's anything of interest. And there is. Over there, there is an, <laughs> there's a ruined portal. We can actually see it properly now. Okay, let's head over there then. Um, in order to be able to ride Strider, I need to find a warped forest. And I'm not sure there is one around here. Now, how on earth do I get over there from here? Do I need to go all the way around? I might need to go all the way around. There's a magma block right there. Ooh, I need another ward, actually. I need another ward so we can start making potions. Yeah, we need to find a forest. Not a forest, a fortress, actually. None of you are gonna have a magma cream, are you? Nope. Why would they? That, that wouldn't make sense if they did, now would it? I'm gonna add, take some of uh, some of these crimson fungus because I want them. It doesn't. I don't feel like it makes sense that you can get these just from punching them. You can't get grass. Uh, there are a few things I wish were a little bit different, but I'm very happy about the Nether update, even though those things are there. You're just gonna ignore me. I'll uh, I'll acknowledge that. I don't mind that at all. Keep ignoring me, please. All right, so it's right over there. Uh, I think I just need to keep moving around and I'll get to it eventually. If I can keep moving, actually, I'm not sure I can. I'm surprised that gas is actually still ignoring me. That's... I'm not complaining. It's just a bit unusual, I guess. Uh... Hmm. Where on earth, I, where on earth is this taking me? I'm not sure going around actually worked. <laughs> Uh, I think it just brought me further away from... Wait, hold on. Maybe I can get around this way. Uh, yeah, the, navigating in the nether is... Um, hmm. It's a tricky business, but I think I might actually... It might just be around this corner, or above this hill, actually. Oh, of course, you don't ignore me. That's just great. That's fun. Wait, where? Doing something... Pretty dangerous right now. Where on earth? I think it might be over there. Oh no. Ignore me. Wow, it is ignoring me. That's so weird. <laughs> That's so. Oh no. Ah! Okay, not weird anymore. Nope, I have lost the portal. Okay, I'm gonna go back around, I think. And, uh,. Just get some death and make a huge bridge that's probably not going to be safe. And, uh, where am I? Huh? 
I did not go through this. Okay, I'm gonna retrace my steps. <laughs> I wanna get to that ruined portal. It might not have anything that I need, but still, I wanna go there. This is not safe. At least I'm playing in normal mode, so I'll have an easier time. Ooh, that's uh, the blue fungus. Ooh, uh, I don't, mm, I don't have a saddle. I don't have a saddle. I have the blue fungus, but I don't have a saddle. That's annoying. <laughs> Leave me alone, gas. They might be the most annoying. To me, they might be the most annoying mob in Minecraft. That's gas. But yeah, I do not have a saddle. So I cannot tame or use a strider. That's so annoying, actually. Oh well. I'll uh, try and retrace my steps to get to the portal. No, wait, I did not go that. No. A reminder. If you go to the nether, bring a bunch of torches and place them where you've been. It makes navigation a lot easier. Um, I don't... Uh, yeah, mm, just do it. <laughs> It'll save you time. Where did I see... Where did I see it? Aha! Found it. Alright, so... I'm gonna take a bunch of this, probably have a stack or so ready. And then I'm gonna bridge over there. And, uh... Hope that I don't fall and die. Not too much important stuff on me, so it's not... That big of a deal, but uh, I still would prefer to keep my skin alive. All right. Um, yeah, here we go. <laughs> oh dear me, this is not safe. But I think we have made it just about. I can almost jump the rest of the way. There we go. And I'm just gonna start placing torches because I don't wanna. I don't wanna get lost because that's just annoying. All right, through the other side. And there it is. Cool. Now I do not have my diamond pickaxe with me, so I cannot bring uh, the obsidian. But now I can at least get easy access to it. Um, so I can come back and get the, like, crying obsidian and such later. Alright. Let's see what we got. Uh, Alright, there's a gold block. There's a chest. Alright, not too bad. Let's open the chest. We're good. Hopefully. Uh, ooh, a golden apple. Golden hole vanishing. <laughs> and golden boots with Death Strider 1. Alright, not the best loot ever. I will admit. The obsidian and the crying obsidian is probably more valuable than any of this. But uh, hey, it's something and I'll take it. It's the first ab abandoned portal that we found. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I saw some more interesting stuff out as well. Like when I was over there and getting lost. But. Uh, I'm not sure I want to go that far, honestly. This bridge isn't scary to run on. Not at all. What are you talking about? Easy. Alright, I want to see if this is enough to, like... Wow. <laughs> he did not even react. Uh, I guess I need to throw him a whole ingot? Or do I need to remove my golden stuff so he actually chases me and that is actually distracting it? Hey, take the, take the gold ingot. Yeah, you, uh, I only have this one, just in case. Well, it gave me obsidian. That didn't give me the advancement, though. So I think I might need to... Uh, take this off, and do that, and... Ah! That did not work. That did not work. That does not work like that. Okay, I guess it has to be actual ingots, then. Hmm. Or can I actually get it? I should be able to. Uh, yeah. Distract piglins with gold. Huh. I guess I can do it from up here. So if I just remove that. And just do that. Aha! I did it. <laughs> I did it. Gotcha. Oh wait, now I actually want what he's dropping. Is he gonna drop something? Uh, spectral arrows. I'll take them. Now oh, goodbye. Don't trust you anymore. All right, I've made it back to my home portal. Die. Okay, that works too. I made it back to my home portal here, uh, just so I know exactly where I am. And I realized actually that uh, the two miss, the ones that I'm missing, is of course the basalt deltas and the warped forest. Now I need bone meal, so I think I'm actually gonna venture into this and get some. Bone blocks. Uh, 
because yeah, I need some of those. I just need to be careful with the skeletons because they're mean and also this is not very human friendly terrain. I'm very happy though that soul sand does not just drop like normal sand or gravel. <laughs> I'm very happy about that. What I'm not so happy about is this terrain right here. It's pretty uh, sketchy. Very sketchy. Uh, hmm. <laughs> yeah, hmm. Uh, yeah. You see, I want to go there. I need a strider, but I can't get one because I don't have a saddle. Very annoying. Extremely annoying. Uh, but I'm gonna tunnel my way over there, I suppose. With my new shovel. My pickaxe. I guess I'll just stick to the edge here. Because why not? Yeah. Watch out. I'm digging through. This is not dangerous at all. <laughs> not dangerous at all. Not dangerous at all. What are you talking about? Nonsense. This is... This is safe. Completely safe. This does not feel safe doing that with this. Uh, imagine if Minecraft had, like, proper gravity. Like, this would not be possible. You would not be able to bridge like this with normal gravity. That would be impossible. And, honestly, that would be a quite interesting thing if they had that. Because, like, you can't just make block bridges. You have to actually, like, make a... <laughs> You have to actually, like, make a proper bridge with, like, support for it to work. That would be pretty cool. But also, in a way, it would ruin the Minecraft, like, special feeling. Anyways, I keep rambling on stuff. The sound when you place these, listen. Like, and break them. Uh, no, of course won't. But, like... It sounds, obviously, like voices, which is supposed to. <laughs> That's pretty cool, but also very creepy. Alright. Are you kidding me? I can't even continue this direction? Oh wait, Basil Deltas! Right over there! Oh wow. This is... Uh, this is not... That's safe. Eh. Alright. Bone blocks and Basil Deltas right there. You know what would be perfect? Getting warped forest right after those Basil Deltas. I'm gonna take this entire thing here because I... Need bone meal, and this is a great way of getting bone meal, so I'm gonna take it. I mean, I don't think anything else wants this. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just gonna take it, and let's get this unlocked. Hey, buddy, could you please move out of the way? Thank you. No, 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 no. They kick it, they punch me into it. No, 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 no. Eat the steak, eat the steak, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up. Golden apple, just in case. I'm gonna run and jump, run and jump, so I can get hungry. And eat to heal. I might... Okay. <sighs> That's the trick right there, because when you eat, you can actually uh, regenerate. You get a little bit of regeneration. Wow. Hi. You little sneaky. <laughs> I almost died to that. Ugh. Die. Thank you. I wish I could ride you guys, but I don't have a saddle for you yet. We will have to do that when I get a saddle, though. Can't wait. It would make my life a lot easier, because I would not have to make these dangerous trips. Alright, there we go. Uh, kinda. Not safe yet, we need to get over there. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm out. But, it should count it? Oh yeah, we're just missing one, which is a warped forest. Uh, which hopefully there might be one right around the corner. All right. Yeah Time to climb this and not fall and Die in a dumb way. Oh dear. Oh, no, not again. Not again. Not again. I don't want to die. Nope. Nope. Golden apple. Golden apple Golden apple. Golden apple. Golden apple <laughs> uh, I don't care if I just wasted a golden apple on that Ah, gotta get away from that guy. Because I can always make more. Okay, this place is way too dangerous for me at the moment. Uh, ow. Nope. <laughs> I need to get out of here. How am I so bad at this? 
I've made two series now, living in the nether, and I've done just fine. This is, this should be normal to me. This is, I should not be doing this bad. All right, I'm doing terrible here. Uh, I think we're gonna head home. Yeah, I think the episode is kind of long anyway. Probably reaching like 25 minutes, maybe, maybe even all that. So I'm gonna head home, and I'll see you at the portal. Unless I die on the way. Okay, okay I, I, I'm faster than you, but I can't bounce as much. But at least now I have a... Okay, I'll see you. I'll see you in a bit. Well, this is a bit of an issue. That guy is guarding that, and there's a skeleton on the other side. Alright, watch this. Okay, this is actually extremely uh, dangerous. Okay, hi skeleton. Hi skeleton. Hi skeleton. Die. 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 Thank you. Okay, I'm safe. Ah, no, I'm not. All right, two skeletons are blocking my path and a hawkland. This should be easy, right? I know I have a bow, but uh, you know what? I'm gonna use it. No mind, I don't have to. He just okay. Yep. Thank you. Bye. Good. Okay. I was hoping to get a shot of him falling, but uh, that didn't happen. All right. Well, I'm gonna call this an episode here. Hopefully, it's not too long. Uh, but we got to explore the Nether. Unfortunately, we did not find a warped forest. Um, but I think it will be a lot easier when we actually get a saddle. So I think maybe we should uh, explore some more in the, old, in the old world. We have done some building recently. And I think we should maybe explore the old world a little bit more. See what we can find. Maybe some more villages, this or temples. Who knows? I think that's on the agenda. But anyways, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. And uh, yeah, goodbye. And I'm gonna leave before I die. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Ting, ting, ting,